Hey, hello guys, this is Kathik from ExecuteAutomation.com and this is part 6 of our Appium with C Sharp video series. And in this part, we will start working with native applications automation using Appium. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 5 since this part will have some similarity of that part. Alright, so working with native applications. So let's start automating the native Android app automation using Appium and for doing that we need to first change the desired capabilities identify the controls and start writing the code it's pretty much the same template that I have for all the different kinds of application types maybe it's a web or native or hybrid but still there are some minor changes in all these application type and also there are some minor changes between Appium with C sharp as well as Appium with Java. So let's not waste our time and flip to Visual Studio and so what I really meant to be. So I'm gonna flip to Visual Studio. So this is the same project which we worked in our last video of this video series. We just automated a web application for Android. And now we are going to automate a native application of Android. So for doing that, I have already developed a calculator application. So this is the application which you guys might have very familiar if you have already watched my videos on understanding Appium video series, Appium with Java video series, Appium framework design and development video series, or Robotium automation video series. So there we are just using, we will be using this particular application right so we're going to automate this particular application right now i think we have already discussed about automating this particular application while we started discussing about the writing a simple android application for android right so we discussed that time as well so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to first copy paste some of the code which we have already written for Appium with Java in our browser. So for that I'm going to open the browser and I'm going to the execute automation block and I'm going to navigate to the mobile testing tab and Appium with Java. So here we have already discussed about a lot of codes on automating the native app using Java web application, hybrid application, right? So we are in the native application. So I'm clicking that particular link and you can see that this is the code which we have already written for automating our calculator application. So right now I'm not going to do a lot of coding. I'm just bored of doing the code. But so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy paste some of the codes from here. And Basically, my intention is not to copy paste the codes, uh, but my intention is just copy paste the object identification properties like edit number one, edit number, see this is edit number two actually, and then txt result and all those things, right? So what I'm going to do, I also need the mobile capability type. So that and also I need to copy. So what I'm going to do is, so I'm not going to deal with the browsers right now. So I'm just going to cut this thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set the capability for mobile capability type dot. I need the app package. So I'm going to put the app package and then the app package is nothing but com dot example dot calculator. So that's the app package. So I'm just going to type that and then I'm going to set the app capability for the app activity and the app activity is actually main activity. So I'm just going to type that one as well. Right. So this is fine for setting the desired capability of our native application. This is more than enough. And then I'm going to write the code for our native application, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to perform driver dot find by name and the name is nothing but edt no one and then I'm going to send keys of I'm going to type like 20 uh, and 30 to see if I could generate a result of 50. So again, I'm going to do one more find element by name of edt number two and let's change this to 50. So, so this is the same code 
as you can see here right and then what I'm going to do is just I'm going to get the result txt result so I'm going to copy this object and uh, let me just type this uh, string result is equal to driver dot oops find by name of this dot I think in Java it is get text and in C sharp it is just text so this is the another change between C sharp and Java so as you can see here we are using get text method and here I'm using dot text property to get the text out from this particular control right and then I'm going to just do a if condition so if result is equal to so I'm not going to use dot equals something like that it's just double equals of 50 which we already know then do a not system dot outer print line but here it's console dot right line right or you can do a assert as well if you want to so let me quickly do an assert and say it is passed and else uh, hmm, not required I can just say it's failed all right so now everything looks fine and uh, let's try to run this code and see if it really works so I'm just going to select the run test and let's go to the application so it's launching the application once again and now it should type 20 comma 30 Hmm. It says there is some error an element could not be located on the page using the given search parameter. Oh my god I'm sorry. I forgot one more thing to do. I'm just gonna stop this guy The thing is we need to configure our Appium server as well So it is nothing but we need to choose the APK path. So if you have already watched the videos on Appium with Java, you might have noted that the calculator dot APK is something which we need to point out for the application which we are going to work with this calculator application if we don't point out this one then the appium server will not know which application it's going to deal with because this calculator.apk or the calculator application which we're going to automate is not an out of the box application this is something which we developed by our own so that's why i'm going to set this apk path so i'm going to select this apk and then i'm going to start the appium server and now it seems like the Appium server has started and then I'm going to run this test once again. Hmm. I think it is ID but not the name. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's ID. So if I give this name then surely we're going to end up with some problem. So let's quickly change this to ID and even this one is ID and also this one is ID. I just, I don't know, just missed this. All right, great. So now let's try to run this test after sorting all the problems out. And this time, hopefully, it should launch the application and also it should type the values in the text box. Yeah, so it's doing right now. So it is typing 20 and also it is going to type 30 and also it verified the result as 50. So if we go back here and see the test explorer the test has got passed and you can also see the output and you can see that it got passed great so everything looks fine so this is how you can automate a native android application so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day